Hey, what's going on guys? Just finishing up a workout here in my gym. Someone just contacted me and asked one of my students that, hey, I need a little bit of motivation. I said, no problem. So I'm gonna share what I said to them with you. You might've already seen this on Facebook as well. I typed it out there. If I could reach a couple more people with this advice, it would be worth it. So stick around. They said, hey Paul, how do you get over that feeling of failure you know it was a funny question because I at first I didn't really have an answer but then I realized it's because it's not that I don't fear failure it's just that I fear something more else more so when they asked me that it's just it's never a concern of mine <laughs> I figured out what it is it's because I'm you know this was ingrained in my head a long time ago by Ty Lopez um, but essentially what I said is I'm more af afraid, right? I'm more afraid of n the consequences of not starting than the consequences of starting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I start, what are the consequences? Okay. If I order a hundred units of something and we're just, let's just talk about Amazon for a second. If I order a hundred units of something, well then maybe my consequence was that I didn't do my product research correctly and that I lost let's say 650 bucks, right? By order, that's even expensive for a unit, 650 per unit, 100 units. Say you lost all of it somehow, you didn't sell a single unit, which is highly unlikely, even a shitty unit will probably sell. Say you lost everything. Okay, so your consequence was 650 bucks. All right, I could handle that. Anyone can handle that. Um, you know, losing $600, you might not even have $650. But I'm saying anyone can handle that because we can all make more money, okay? <laughs> if you have a job, you can make more money. Next week, you're going to make more money. The week after that, you'll make more money. If you are fortunate enough to already have an online business, you're definitely going to make some more money. You might even get paid on a daily basis, something like Shopify pays out every day. So point being, the consequence was just a little bit of money, okay? Not that big of a deal. Um, and of course, it really isn't. It's just money. You can always make more. This goes back to Seneca and the short on the shortness of time. Everyone has enough time if you know what to do with your time. <laughs> Be stingy with your time and not with your money. So that's actually why that exact principle is the principle that I applied to my teaching with you guys. Okay, so I everything I do on YouTube is free. Everything that I put out, my course, my $500 course is not actually $500, it's free. You could donate anything you want. All my YouTube videos are free. Everything I'm teaching on YouTube is there's nothing I'm trying to keep in secrecy, right? The only thing I'm stingy with is my time. So if you want to do a consultation call with me, if you want me to look over some products, give you my opinions, that's the only thing I charge for. If you're interested, there's a link in the description that's totally off the subject. But then let's weigh the consequences of the flip side of this. Okay, so consequences of not starting. And that's, that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. Everyone looks at the consequences of starting. And I think why I've been successful in a short amount of time is that I look, about, I look at the consequences of not doing something. So I'm not sitting here weighing out every single consequence for action that I know is progressing me. So I'm doing something business related and I'm spending money on my business. I weigh the consequences and I use educated guesses on my behalf on investments, like any good investor should. You shouldn't go at things blindly. Don't twist my words here. But point being is I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so I've, I don't care. The failure, I'll learn something from it. That might even teach me. But I am very much so afraid of the action or the consequence of not taking action. And let's kind of look at that for a second. So if I don't start an online business, what are the consequences of that? Um, and it might not even be online business, but maybe you're doing real estate, anything. Anything entrepreneurial, that's obviously what this channel is about. Anytime you're weighing an investment, whether it's FBA, online arbitrage, Shopify, excuse me, something like that. If you don't start it, where are you going to be in a year? Because <laughs> when you do start it, you could say, Oh, maybe I will have quit my job in a year and I'll have my time back. That's what's important to me, right? I like being able to wake up when I want, 
I want to be able to spend time with my kids. Maybe you have kids. I definitely don't, but I'm just saying, parap- like talking in your point of view here. If I do not start one year from now, the consequence will be I'm still in the same situation financially. I'm still in the situation with my time. My time is being eaten up by someone else. So I'm, I'm making someone else rich. I'm not making myself rich by working for someone. And I'm still at the same situation. For me, that is so much scarier. And that's so much of a bigger risk um, than just getting, getting my feet wet and starting. And it becomes very easy to start making these small failures because you're working towards something and there's a bigger picture. It's very hard to get out of bed in the morning when there's not a big picture. And you're not saying, okay, I lost $500 because... I didn't do product research, I'll do it better next time. Next time I'm gonna make that back plus some and then we'll implement that and launch more products and then before you know it, I'll be making $100 a day and I'll be able to quit my job. No, when you don't take action, that story becomes, wow, I really messed up. I shouldn't have called out of work and partied with my friends on Saturday. Now I'm not gonna have enough money to pay this bill. Why did I do that? And then what's the rebound? It's not like, okay, well, because I did that failure, next time this will be better and this will be better. It kind of compounds. So take educated risks as an investor into things. And that's a lot less scary for me. Now, this is just my point of view. And I know some of you like hearing my point of view. Not everybody does. That's totally fine. If you don't like my point of view, go watch someone else whose view you do like. It'll probably be a lot better use of your time. But point of this video is weigh your consequences for what you're doing. Sometimes, (laughs) let me rephrase that. Every single time, the consequence of not starting is gonna be significantly greater and more, far more scarier than the consequence of just starting. 